So have you ever been to a game where you can get pets and stuff, but the only way you can get the pets is through like eggs and other things like that. Most of the time it is eggs. And in the eggs there might be multiple prizes, but each prize has a different chance of actually you getting it. You could call this a chance randomizer and I will show you how to do this now. So before you build the randomizer you need to make sure you have the places where people would be teleported to. On these places you can add gear givers, kill blocks, trippers, anything you want. Now once I get gear giver you can TP them back or something. But I'm just going to make it so they get put onto this red or blue team. I will do two teams first and then I will show you how to do it with four teams. I'm sure once you know how to do it with four teams, you'll be able to do it with how many teams you like. Thank you to this person for giving me this idea. I did do a video on this randomizer before, but getting teleported to each place on that one was equal. And when you involve a lot of places in that mechanism, it starts to lag. So say if I only have like two or three balls, I would make a small box like this. So the balls will be able to move around freely, but it won't be like a huge gap between them. Because if there is a huge gap, when people get teleported in it, they'll be able to move around. We don't want that happening, so we want to minimise the gap so it's really small, but they can still move around. So if I added more balls, like 10, I would have to build a bigger box, like over there. Also, you'd want to add a roof after, because they can bounce out the box, so you'd need to add a roof. So say if I had a red ball in here, and then I had a blue ball in here. The red ball teleports you to the red place, and the blue ball teleports you to the blue place. Place. There will be cannons so they start bouncing around. At the moment there's a 50-50 chance. But if I change this and add two red balls teleport you to the red place, one blue ball teleports you to the blue place, there's two thirds of a chance that you'll get teleported to the red place. So say if I add one blue ball and then nine other red ones, that would mean that there's 90% chance that you'll get teleported to the red place and there's 10% chance that you'll get teleported to the blue place. I think this box actually might be alright if you make it a bit taller. Uh, yeah, I think they'll be able to move around. You just want the balls to move around freely, but you just don't want to have a too big of a gap. So I think this would be fine having 10 balls. With all the different balls and platforms, they need to add up to 100%. So this would mean that there's a 20% chance that you'll be teleported to the red place. You can't just add the balls like this because they haven't teleported you anywhere at the moment. So what you need to do is you need to put a telly go from every single one. So the red ball going to the red place. I've colour coordinated it. You don't have to colour coordinate it, but it just helps. So let's put all the red places going to the red place. And then we can put the blue balls going over to the blue place. Now if you want to you can do easy hide decals on this after. And we want them to move around. So we're going to add cannons on the side. Um, for a small box I recommend doing 100. And then every time you make the box bigger you need to increase the cannon. Enough so it would bounce the ball go from side to side pretty fast. If the cannon isn't strong enough and it doesn't bounce the ball going from side to side. You would need to make it stronger. So it depends how big the box is. I would recommend doing the cannons first. And you need to literally put them everywhere. You can't leave a gap. So I'm just going to fill in the roof like this. Because it's a small space. I'm going to do easy cannon 100. Don't put the cannon too high though. Because if it's too high it will fling the balls out of the box. It will glitch and then fly through the walls out of the box. So don't put it too high. You might need to experiment with it. So there we go like that. Just stick it on 100. And then you want to click everywhere. On all sides of the walls. On the roof. On the floor. Everywhere. There we go, like that. So now, oh my god, if I place a ball, it should start going everywhere. There we go, so I've just placed it, and as you can see, it's going mad like this. And then you can have multiple balls in. If you want to place the balls on the outside of the box, and then you can use the entelly command to teleport the balls inside of the box, so you can get them ready before I like, put the tellies on them. You can do that if you want. So yeah, say if I wanted there to be a 1% chance of getting onto the red platform, and 99% chance of going to the blue platform, the easiest way I could do it is by adding 100 balls, 99 of them would be blue and one of them would be red and then that would mean there's 1% chance of, of me getting teleported onto the red platform. Because this box is only slightly bigger, I have still used the easy cannon 100 on this, but if I made it a lot bigger, I would have to make the cannon stronger. So I'm just going to add the roof and floor with the cannons on it, and like I said earlier, what you can do is you can add a block down, put an M telly going from here, 
to in the middle like this once you've added the roof and the floors you can just get the balls make the balls on the outside already put the teleporters on and then you can just roll them into this m telly and it would teleport them in the box and then once you've done with it you can just delete the m telly so as you can see it's in the box so i'm just going to do the roof and floor right now as you can see it's flung out the roof so that's why we need a roof as well i forgot to mention that you need to be in the randomizer for it to put you onto a random place um you can do this by just adding a telly it doesn't matter where you get teleported in the randomizer, it could be anyway. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle or maybe a block to the left or a block to the right. It doesn't matter, but on the corner I feel like balls might not go there as often because it might bounce in like on the walls and there's probably less chance of them going right into the corner. So I would say maybe near the middle, but it doesn't have to be exactly the middle. So you can just add like a telly going here. There we go, that, like that. So when they walk into the telly, they'll be teleported into the randomizer, and the randomizer will teleport them to one of the places. Also, after doing an easy command, you can say exit. When you're actually in the randomizer, if the cannons aren't strong enough, you might not bounce around everywhere. But with balls, it will be different. Balls are like lighter. So if we just add a ball here, oh wait, no. If we just add a ball here like that, as you can see, it starts to go mad. Oh no, I'll delete this now. So I've got the different platforms here. I want there to be a 50% chance of landing on the red. I want there to be a 30% chance of landing on the blue. 15% chance of landing on the green. And 5% chance of landing on the yellow. We could make the balls worth 5% each. So we would need to add 20 balls that would fit into all of these. So I've got my M telly there. So when I push the balls into it, it'll go into the randomizer but we can put the commands on first. Because each ball is 5% each, we need to add 10 red balls. And then we can do easy telly, click on there, and then we can click on all of these like this. And then we can push these into the M telly, so then they get put into the randomizer. I've just realized you can't push them, because if you try to push them, you get teleported to the place. So we have to use wedges and stuff. I could have made it so all of these blocks could have been M tellies going into the place. So it'd be a lot easier because then I can just like use wedges and it should push it into the block. So I'd recommend actually adding more M tellies going in. But I'm actually just going to use wedges to try roll them into this M telly here. There we go, like that. So that's the red balls done. And then now we need to do the blue balls. So there's 30 of them, the 5% each, so I need to add 6 balls now. So we can do a telly going from here on all of these, like that. So these represent 5% each, because there are 20 balls all together, and now to push these in. So 15%, 5% each, so that's 3 balls. And then the yellow one would be 1 ball, because it's 5%. So 3 green balls, 1 yellow ball. We can put a telly going to the yellow place, like that. And then we can do easy telly for the green platform on the balls like that remember you can do easy hide decals after to hide these decals also you can say exit to get off the easy command and now we need to push these in there we go like that so now we can just delete all of this because you probably don't want people to see this and that is the randomizer done so now if you count the balls that are in there that is 20 balls that means per ball there is five percent each because they need to add up to a hundred percent these percentages are all correct and we can go into it and let's see what we actually land on what are the chances of that <laughs> the five percent one okay well right, let me try again there we go now i'm on the green one if you make it so it's like one percent you'd rarely get it well you might sometimes get it one percent chance and if you make it like 0.1 percent that'd be even harder and there we go like that i also will be doing a big event soon so stay tuned so yeah that is actually going to be all for this video press that big red button which says subscribe like this video and we will see you on the next video bye